Welcome back, everyone. You may be experiencing some issues on your Facebook app. Well, for some reason, it just doesn't allow you to log in, or you may be having some crashing issues to where you just open up Facebook and it just crashes automatically. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but I'll go ahead and break down two of the most common ways, and it tends to be either a server issue, a network issue, and now that I think about it, there's a third issue, which is like the app issue. So what you want to do here is once you go ahead and have Facebook booted up and everything, you want to go ahead and obviously try to log in. If you're able to log in, then set. You didn't even have to watch this video. But if you're having trouble, what you want to do, and the very first thing I recommend every single person to do, is go into your settings app, whether you have an Android or iPhone, it doesn't matter, and you want to check your Wi-Fi and cellular connections. If you're having an issue with your Wi-Fi or cell connection, you want to go ahead and troubleshoot that thing first. So you want to go into your Wi-Fi signal, test it. You want to go into your cell signal if you have T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, whoever. You want to go ahead and look through it and see if you're actually, you know, getting cell signal. Now, in order to tell that, you want to go into your app store. You want to go into Safari. You want to go into anywhere else. Now, if you're getting, you know, pop-ups like this that says cannot connect to the app store or can't load web page or whatever, well, you want to basically go ahead and try to go ahead and boot it up. You want to go ahead and see if it's working. If it's not working at all like this, well, then you know you have a network issue. So you're going to have to go ahead and fix your network signal or you know fix your Wi-Fi or whatever. It tends to be that if you're on the road, if you're in the middle of a highway, if you're in a wooded area or something like that, then your signal is not going to work out that well and you're probably going to have to get it fixed before you even continue on. Now, if let's say you know your network's not the problem that you can tell, well, the next thing you want to do if you're able to get Wi-Fi signal and everything is you want to update the Facebook app. So you want to go into your app store just like here you want to look at Facebook and you want to just update the app. That tends to be the easiest thing to do in this case, and it's probably the number one way that I've seen people time and time again fix their Facebook app. You know, most of the time that ends up being the issue by simply just fixing your Wi-Fi stuff, and it can really fix up like 99% of the problems you're ever going to have. Now, let's say you did that and it's still not working for some reason. Well, the next segment is pretty much the main ways I've seen time and time again to actually fix your Facebook not loading up and all that stuff. Now, what I've seen time and time again is that Facebook, just like every other company, has a bunch of servers and has a bunch of, you know, things on their end that they also need upkeeping. And most of the time, what I've seen over and over again, as I just mentioned, is that Facebook servers tend to be down way more often than people even realize. So, so what that means is, is that no matter what you do, you can have the most secure phone with the best signal and all this stuff with the best upkeep time. But Facebook on their end also has to do the same thing. And sometimes, just like yesterday, the day before, Facebook servers were down, WhatsApps weren't sending or loading, Instagram wasn't loading, and Facebook themselves weren't even, you know, working either. So whenever things like that happen, there's really nothing you can do. You just kind of have to wait it out until Facebook, you know, gets their stuff together and actually pushes out an update to fix it. Now, the update is not going to be through over the air. It's not going to be through the app store. It's literally going to be on their server side. So all you have to do is really just wait. Now, the best way that I've seen over and over again is to determine whether Facebook is down or not is to look in the comment section of these types of videos, whether my video or someone else's video. See if a lot of people are commenting at the same time. So sort the comments by the latest. And if a lot of people are commenting like second after second or minute after minute, then that probably means Facebook is down. But if a lot of people are not commenting, so the last comment was like hours ago or days ago or something, then it may mean that Facebook isn't really down and you probably have a network issue or an app issue and you probably have to, you know, get that fixed. But let's say a lot of people are commenting at the same time. Well, then you're probably just going to have to wait. That's the thing that I've done. That's the thing that helps out the most. And there's really nothing else you can do. You just pretty much have to wait until Facebook, you know, puts their servers back up. So... That's the second way to do it. I mean, it's not really a way. It's just a way to be aware, you know, if something's actually going wrong with Facebook. And again, at this point, you're just going to have to wait it out until Facebook, you know, fixes their login issues and their servers. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.